Welcome, friends. Welcome to the space. If you can, get some water next to you and bear up some tissues and have your space as quiet as possible. It's not so easy during these times to have a quiet space, perhaps, because everybody's inside. As you can hear in the background, we have a motorcycle. Breathe. Three good deep breaths in. Deep breaths while you're listening to this voice. And relax. Those joining in, just perhaps got you water and everything you need to settle into the space. Welcome. Welcome, friends. Welcome to the present moment. While the world is happening around us, all of that is inside of us. Ooh. Perhaps you don't hear the sound in the background. That sound doesn't bother us. We breathe and we remain present with our in-breath. You say in in your minds if you need to. And out with the out-breath. We keep it simple. Just stay present and breathe. Let the breath breathe you. You don't breathe the breath. You can change how you breathe. But you can't stop the breath. And keeps you anchored into the present moment. So this is how it works. And those of you still coming into this space, welcome. And breathe when you're ready. You don't have to try to match the breath you hear in the background here. You have your own. Take a good deep breath into your heart. What that means is just focus your intention with your in-breath of your choosing as you're listening to this voice. It may be in the next couple of breaths. Take your time. So when you breathe in, you breathe into the heart. And you let that out breath out. You don't have to try to match the same duration of the in-breath to the out-breath. It's quite natural to let that out-breath just fall out because it relaxes you. It's a nice tool to keep us present but relaxed. So welcome. Welcome. As you're breathing into your heart, you notice other presence is in the space with all the others as we make a cart connection together. And you're still coming in and you're relaxing. You're still allowing yourself to let the outside noise be that. So we allow the outside noise, even what's going in the background of this space from moment to moment to keep breathing. So this is what we do. You're sitting in your space. 
And then you're bringing your attention and your consciousness to your breath. And that is a very simple thing. They call meditation. We've said, use that term for, for as long as we can remember. So keep breathing. And you start realizing that you don't need any of those terms when you come into this moment. Perhaps some of you are already very much present here and you allow yourself to be where you are. Allow whatever arises to be there. Perhaps you have some mental issues, stress, anxiety, that's common for the human. Anyway, even if your life is quote unquote going fine. Perhaps it's psychological or, you know, things you've been holding on to, relationship issues, financial issues. We let it go in the space. We let go of the letting go, as Beth said. So there's no effort. A, you just use your breath. find yourself straying away, just come back to your breath. It's simple. And you allow your mind to talk and just keep going on. But you'll notice it may be more into the background now. If it's not, just allow. Oh. If you came to the space with an intention, now is time to, as you're breathing into your heart, and we're connecting with each other. You're safe. Breathe. Oh. You're not going to get infected by others. Don't worry. Others' vibes. The space is nice. That's why it's provided for us to go outside of the density of mass consciousness, that gravity, not just so much the apple falling to the ground. Keep breathing. You're lovely. Everyone here, lovely. It's nice. As we, in your mind's eye, if you're a visual person, that's good. You can bring it up immediately. Just envision us just being together doesn't have to be in a circle per se. You, know? you sit where you want in your space. Remember to breathe. And at this point, you just do what you feel. And just relax. If you have any tension in your space, if you're sitting down, just notice it in your buttocks or your back. Relax. Uh, you could lie down. That's fine. Do what you do and breathe. And so as we allow this outside noise to go away within ourselves, it goes away on the outside for sure. <laughs> because there is no outside until there is. Bring. Ooh. Focus on your stomach area. And just notice anything, any tension, let it go. We have all the time in the world in this space. <laughs> Felt the laughter from a couple of you there. Feel it. Mm. Allow yourself to be with whatever arises right now. And welcome to the present moment. It's all inclusive. Everyone. And those that, who can't take the present moment, well, they have their experience moving through time and space, as we will, as we did before we joined the space, and then we will after the human, as we move and walk 
our earth walk. Keep breathing. Yeah, we know most of you in the space are, are good with your mind's eye. You're seeing with your strong eye, the eye in the center, the eye in the sky, the eye in your sky. Keep breathing. Yeah, we're getting really good at this. Don't short yourself on that. Trust this voice. And you're safe. Mm. Ah. Nice, graceful breathing. The brain doesn't have oxygen, uh, doesn't have lungs, so we give it the oxygen. And just keep breathing. Functions much better, just allowing it to not have to work so hard in the space. Nothing for the mind here. Those joining who have never been in these spaces, just free fall. So you're starting to feel more relaxed. It's nice, isn't it? It's pleasant. Well, there's so much going on out there in the world right now. It's quite amazing how it can be still and silent within the self, and yet we allow all to take place without doing anything about it. The non-doing is the doing. Keep breathing. Nothing for the mind. Thank you, brain. Remember your intention and why you're here. If it's simply to relax, that's fine. You're already there. Great. So we're addressing more of those who want to take a journey. So you close your eyes. Breathe. Relax. You're safer here than in most places while in human form. So welcome, friends, to this very present moment. <sighs> just a mural here. Just envision all of us like frogs, and we're just sitting together, like ribbit, ribbit, ribbiting together, ribbit, ribbit. You know, thanking the thunder spirits for giving us rains and things. breathe. communicating with the spirits that are all around us. Everything's alive. It's brilliant. This present moment is very much alive. It's wonderful. When you're in a high frequency, you can enjoy. And be gr there is no gratitude because you are gratitude. Keep breathing. <laughs> and all of a sudden, did you notice how the frequency just shifted up? And we're like, yeah, much more energy. That's it right there. Oh, what it's like to feel and be alive. What it's like. It's so glorious. It's wonderful. The sensations like nothing else in all of creation to be here and to enjoy this human form. Breathe. And to bring an awareness. You're aware of who you are other than the human. Wow. Take a good deep breath with that. Phew. Thank goodness that happened here on planet Earth. Okay. So now that we have a good heart connection, and you're aware of your breath, two places, three places you're listening to this voice. Four places. Your brain is talking away and it's never going to stop until the day you die. And then it will follow you on to this thing you call the afterlife, perhaps if you, well, choose. So if you have a favorite place you like to go into nature, now is the time to bring that up into your consciousness. 
Some of you are there immediately before we even finish the sentences. Some of you have been there even since the beginning of this space we've been here. The beginning of the non-beginning <laughs> paradox. You hear the clocks ticking, and then they stop, keep breathing. And now what? Well, some of you are ready. Um, okay, so now we're going to address those who just want to sit into the void. There's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Keep breathing. Oh, there's so much not for the mind here. <laughs> mind, we love you. You'll stop if you need to. And... Good. So we just allow ourselves to float. We need to do that. There's no flying. It's simply being. This is the space where science is called black holes. They haven't figured consciousness out yet because they're still trying to with the mind. Breathe. Not even a vacuum. Oh, you already got blown up into a million pieces before you entered this space. You just didn't realize it because it happened quantumly. Keep breathing. <laughs> <sighs> Little do the scientists know that they'll, you get put back together again when you enter the block. More so than you ever have. Sense into the sensations that you don't do when you're limited with your singular identity in your common hours in your day time or at night time notice the senses here notice that you there's much more <laughs> breathe in the space you can be and see in all look all around with that all seeing eye in every corner of creation and outside. Those are who still breathing right now, you can enter your space. You're there in nature, perhaps you entered the void with us. Get back to your space and breathe. We're about in about 202 places right now at once. <laughs> it's true. And all we do is just focus with the breath in, in the mind. And you breathe in, out. When you breathe out, perhaps you're an individual right now that's breathing 10 seconds in and just letting it out. Good for you. It's working for you. You can use your breath to clear out anything you need. That's your intention right now. It works out of time and space because that's where we are. Some of you are way out of time and space in this thing we call the void. Okay. So here we are in our special place of places in nature. Just be there, ground. Perhaps you're flying, ground in the air. And notice that there's a grounding in the air. Birds ground in the air. Breathe. They ground themselves when they fly. It's the other way around. Allow yourself to receive. And then notice the love that you have for yourself right now. Breathe into your heart. And notice the presences around you in your special place. Perhaps you're not noticing any. Perhaps some of you are noticing a few. Maybe new ones that you haven't recognized before that are here to help you in this day. We're here on Saturday. You call May 1st, 2020. That's actually not the real date, but that's okay. Breathe
It's the present moment. That's the date. <laughs> notice that you didn't notice as much love that you had before you joined the space for yourself. It's different now. It's shifted. You were preparing last night. Some of you were preparing uh, a day ago. Perhaps you're in uh, the other side of the planet from Muriel. You were preparing two days ago. <sighs> Trust and allow. And you're safe. Breathe. It may feel that uh, you're not going to be making it through these times. Remember the space. Those of you who are in the space, even later on, you're here for a reason. It's about you. Trust your awakening. Trust that you're waking. That you cannot go back to yesterday. You can change your past. This thing that you call the past. Physically. It changes you. Time and space is moving through you. In this space, some of you are not there. You can see over and check it out. Your scientists will get there soon. And they'll meet us <laughs> here. And we'll all celebrate in a grand meeting. Breathe. It's getting lighter. It's getting lighter. It's getting lighter every moment. Every moment. You're safe. Be with the earth. Perhaps your space is somewhat in the outside, in the higher frequencies outside the earth that looks a lot like a place in nature, but it's not of this realm. That's okay. Be with the earth there. It's all the same. Same, same. Breathe. There's no difference from where you are right now than the other side of creation. You get there by just looking. Notice. Your God. Notice the earth. Notice how all is well. And notice how it's not. Breathe. Notice how it's both simultaneously. And notice how that applies to you. And notice how lighter you feel right now. Check your heart space. Perhaps it's bringing up some emotions you don't like. Be with it. Stay. You're safe. This is what we do. It passes. That's why that old phrase, this too shall pass, stand at the test of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some, some of you have a smile on your face after that. 
as you should. <laughs> Brilliant masters. Ooh. It's not the human's responsibility to understand what was just said. Allow yourself just to be with what comes up in these times. Don't try to effort yourself. If you do, then that's fine. You don't need to. Breathe. So some of you here engaging with this frequency of the earth, it's very pleasant. It's available all the time when you're busy doing your doings out there in the world. This is always available. You don't have to come into the spaces to be here. <sighs> and some of you know that, but you're still going to do it until you don't. You may be here for the next two, three years. Come and go. Maybe you'll leave for six months and come back. But they'll be here. Perhaps you'll go on and do them yourself. <laughs> this is what we do. Keep breathing. That's why we're here. Because at this point, your human doesn't really know what's real anyway. Most humans are too confused at this point. It doesn't really matter. What's real? What's real? Sense into yourself right now. Take a good deep breath into your heart. Make sure to drink some water if you need to at this point. And you're going to do that for the next three days. <sighs> sense yourself sense into any ailments mental psychological physical anything on any level that comes up and in these spaces we do not run away we are stay with the present moment welcome Welcome back if you want to stray. It's easy. But you notice the present moment was always available. Yeah. Don't get down on yourself. Human, you're not responsible. You notice the higher consciousness residing. Notice the presence in this space. Now notice the presences that may be perhaps, like it was said before, new. Breathe. Or not. Maybe you don't have any. Wherever you are in your space, get up and walk or fly, you choose. Hey, maybe you want to glide. Time and space is your friend in this here. Now, breathe. The main part of you, the one that distracts you from being in the present moment at all times, is distracted right now. Breathe. It's this thing you humans call hypnotism is a mere distraction of the mind. <sighs> Move that mind out of the way, and here we are. Hi, my eternal consciousness. Oh, my higher self, you have all your words and terms for it. You'll create new ones as the days go by, too. A new myth in which you will live. It's unfolding while the old world dissolves and becomes something new. Brave. And it's happening with your consciousness right now in this present moment. It's not happening at any other time. It cannot. This thing you call the past and the present and the parallel timeline is an illusion. So is this thing called enlightenment. You already are. You just don't know it. Breathe. Because the brain can't know it. It's not responsible. So it won't 
And if it does at some time in the future, that's fine. But this is what we do for now. Ah, some of you had an aha moment just a moment ago. That was brilliant. The present moment shifts and changes. Welcome again to the now present moment. <laughs> and then again, and again, and again. Welcome back. Welcome home. All inclusive. It's nice. It's light. You don't have to have an identity here. You don't have to prove or effort or show or do or anything. Oh, this is great. Some of you are like, can I just sleep here, Muriel? Use theirs with the voices, the voice there. <laughs> there's no identity. But yet there's a voice, and you're listening, the you, and your ears. This is strange. How many places you are right now in this very present moment, checking with yourself. Welcome to the multidimensionality of all it is. And we're grounding it onto the planet Earth for the very first time. Okay. And it's going into every fiber strand that's woven into the electric magnetic. All of that, keep breathing, all of that, all those frequencies that hold up the grid around the planet, we're doing that right now. Keep breathing. We just catch it, a hook with the thoughts of you like that, some spurts, some rise up, it rises up just a moment again, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, thoughts, a lot of thoughts were worded like that, nothing for the mind, breathe, to catch the mind, to pull it back and relax, that's all that information was for, throw it out the door, and sense into yourself, notice your brilliance, sparkles, like the stars you so long to see that you haven't seen in the night sky for so long. It's been ancient times since you were able to look up at the night sky, keep breathing, and to see that brilliance of who you are, stardust, has an identity. You're God. If that's not something fantastic, that we don't know what, what, what is. Allow yourself to be here now. And, notice the and, to have your thoughts go astray. Notice it. Notice how you're in two places at least. And be with it. Breathe. Because this is all you had to do, human. Just move out of the way. That's why you're here in this space, until you're not, until you are. And then you'll visit it again sometime in creation. You'll come back in like 10,000 years from now and go, ooh, that was a nice space. <laughs> Breathe. Into the belly laughter, up into the heart, up above the crown. Notice above your head. Notice how you are a totem pole. Notice how you change in frequency from the bottom of your free feet up to the top of your head. Notice all of that and be fine with it, especially below the belly button, your belt umbilical cord that you once connected you to your mother. Notice below that. Notice that. That's what the human mostly denies. It's trying to fix, but it can't. And sh nor should it. So what we do is we Go into, breathe, your breath. Ooh. And we breathe up thou energy from the earth, core of the earth, which is the center of all of creation. Breathe with that. Up and through your feet and up through your body. And stop right below your umbilical cord. You're still in your spaces. You could be in the void. You could be in your special place in nature or outside in the cosmos that looks a lot like nature. Breathe. When you leave this place once and for all, you will take her with you. There's no fear. You may be grieving. Perhaps that's your intention today. You may be grieving to say goodbye to Gaia, that you love this place and you like love life and you don't want to leave. Perhaps it's your last lifetime. Breathe. 
Oh, so here we ground. So here in these spaces, you notice this, if you're out in nature here, do you notice that you're here? You take this forever, Brie, forever, for eternity. Wherever you're floating off somewhere, you leave your body, it's your last lifetime, 40 years from now, 10 years, maybe, maybe today you leave, uh, three days from now. Okay, you're floating off and you're doing your thing. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> oh. And then you come back to this space. Or you just immediately go out into nature. How could that be? Breathe. Welcome to the present moment. How could that be that you could be out into nature when you died? <laughs> You're afraid. Mm. Notice how safe you are with your breath. It just breathes you. You can't and try holding your breath. You will eventually breathe again because you will, well, choke. <laughs> It's not very pleasant to hold the breath for too long. We know this. Okay. Why do we have to hold the breath? Because the breath is always breathing. Oh. Sometimes shallow because we're not paying attention that it's always breathing. And there lies some issues with the health you may have. And we tell you that the breath is your medication <laughs> and it's free and you can't sell it and buy it yeah it's there too with you until the very last and then you just move on the you and you get back to feeling like you belong to creation <laughs> Some of you can chuckle with that. Like, oh, just wait till the end of this lifetime. Then I'll feel like I'm like back to it again. You know, question how many of you actually can't stand being around other human beings. Breathe. And you, maybe you're doing it just for the time for the transition and coming into yourself. All valid. You be with that which arises. There's nothing wrong and there's nothing right. There's no right way of doing anything and there's no wrong way. You make it up because you are God. Breathe. That's hard. As a human says, that's a grand responsibility. The human doesn't need to come and do the way. We listen to that. Sense into it. Resonate or not. Throw it out the door. Breathe. Because we're not here to tell you anything. In fact, there is no a we. You will remember your breath more. That's why these sessions are here too. There's always a multidimensionality to everything, not just one reason why. Ah. Let yourself engage with the void. Let yourself engage with your place right now, wherever you are. Let yourself be wherever you are. Yourself be with your breath. Don't hesitate. It's scary to come into the present moment. There's aspects that have a little bit of fear. It's a little wobbly, a little shaky. Bray. That's why this has coaching, you call it. That's why this is here. That's important. And some of you will click today. Perhaps you'll start your own thing. Ooh. Or just simply apply it to yourself and move on. Because every, nothing has, all of that out there has very little to do with you. 
Do you notice in the space that we're here and, and we can do this, do this. And we're here, present, now, in the moment, while everything else is happening. Even the void where there's nothing. And then there's everything else where the human immediately goes back to the noise. What's happening out there in the world? How is it going to affect me? Well, how am I going to, the brain, how am I going to keep you safe? Breathe. How can we keep you safe? There can't be a we, then I feel like I'll go crazy. So most humans stay within the singular identity. But here, you know very well when you tap into the present moment, how ver all the potentials and possibilities come at you. Notice it. Even if you're in the void right now, I know you're all floating over there and not paying attention to what's being said. Good for you. Just keep doing that. <laughs> Breathe. Notice all the potentials and possibilities are everywhere. And notice that it's not just in a circle around you. It's in and it, it, it circles within and out, upside down and inside out. It's in, in directions you're not even familiar with. Keep breathing. <sighs> We're lightening up the load. Humans have settled for five senses. And what's happening now is you're gaining seven senses. Seven senses will be within the next, what you say into your time and space will no longer be known as the next hundred years. Keep breathing. Muriel's hesitating back there. Wait a second. What does that mean? You see the brain? That's how potent it is. We could still be here and do this, but we have a brain back there. <laughs> so do you. Notice that? Whew. There's no room in the space for any kind of BS. There's no room in the space to go, oh, this is not real. Notice that, too. <laughs> Notice how crazy everything sounds. Notice that. Perhaps you're just floating off into nothingness. Good for you. So we're talking multidimensional now in these spaces to those who may not be directly in the one we were getting even a month ago. That was quantum reality that just happened, my friends. Nothing for the brain here. Breathe. Oh, finally. It's a prime directive. Shoved right into the present moment. Well, we weren't expecting that. We were too busy doing, trying to reach this. Oh. Tempting to reach the present moment. So be here right now and notice how grand you are, but also notice the small little me that's struggling when you get off the session and it will slowly go away and then you'll join again in a couple weeks from now, whoever. Like we had mentioned in the other sessions previously, you're all assisting in creating the new species of planet Earth, of the new Earth. Science can't see them yet. You can't with your physical eyes unless you have your consciousness. The seven senses will come on. You already know about the sixth. Oh, you don't really know about the sixth. Keep breathing. You're starting to notice a little bit here. Now. Right now. You had to come here now. You had to come now and be to receive this message just like that. Simple. Breathe. Nothing to do. It's happening to you. Mm -hmm. 
Notice your crown chakra. Notice above your head, if you don't know what the chakra is, it's a vortex. It's a Sanskrit word, energetic vortex. We have several of them on the human body. Just like the senses, we can use them as portals to enter the other uh, thousands of other senses that you call the spirit world. So this is coming into your physical reality. That's why there will be seven senses, and it will just be a common known. I see some of you smiling. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. The expansion that is upon you, keep breathing, is greater than you'll ever experience in all of your incarnations until it changes. Now take a good deep breath with that. And you can go off out of the session. Keep breathing. And you can walk your walk knowing this is different. Keep breathing. Notice your heart space. And connect it with all the humans right now. Notice all of your fellow brothers and sisters. Notice the ones in all the spectrums. Notice where they are with their consciousness. Notice how you have no engagement. Breathe. Those of you in the void, keep staying there. Good for you. Some of you will leave. Some of you will leave after the session. Some of you may actually leave your body. No fear and breathe. So, we just enter the void because you're sick and tired of being in a physical form. It's time to leave. You don't have to stay here. Why? Breathe. <laughs> because there's no ending to anything. Eternity is a very long time. We love you so very much and everything that you've endured every day that has gone by. It's almost gotten so brutal. You forgot how the magic of everything is so beautiful. Some of you had tamed and tainted your eyes, your eye, and you couldn't see anything else because it's not real. And if it was, then it wouldn't happen this way. Keep breathing. We're here to tell you you're safe, and you can take this now. And when you go to this marketplace, or when you go out and about, and you see these people in the coming months, you will change them. They don't know any of this. They have no awareness that things are okay. But you do, and we love you. Oh, feel it. Feel it. Don't go astray. Stay. Breathe into your heart space. Take your time. Like the frogs. Like the turtle. Like the little guys. They take their time. There's no rush. Why do you rush? Steady. Steady wins the race. The only race was inside yourself. It was not with another. Breathe. Mm. Perhaps some of you are playing around in your space right now in this magical land of yours. And open up other dimensions into the space and keep going. Perhaps you are far away from where you started. And the session began when we first brought you to the place. And you're not there. You're, you're other dimensions away. We ask you to come back into that place and just breathe. And notice the love expansion. Notice the expansion of your heart space right now. Each and every one of you. Each and every one of you are here for a reason. And you know, breathe, <laughs> just being you and figuring yourself out helps everyone else, not just this world, but all worlds and all of creation. <sighs> Thank <sighs> you.
You all have a unique frequency and vibration. No one ever like you in all creation. It will go on forever. Grace. No one ever like you. Even if someone has your name. You know, Rob Smith. Maybe there's other more Rob Smiths in the world. Keep breathing. <laughs> or Margaret Smiths. Yeah, yeah. All those Smiths have a unique frequency. That tone contains all mantras that were ever created. Really? You have your own. You have your own song. And let it come to you right now. We can make a minute be a million years in this space. Breathe with that. You're lovely. You're so loved. You are God. Phew. Relax a little bit more now. I don't have to try so hard. I don't know why I was trying so hard. I don't know why I was efforting to everything about myself when I could just relax. Just a steady, vibrating tone. In your breath, said it enough, you're just gently breathing now, just doing it on your own. Mm -hmm. Receive. Allow yourself to receive you. Receive you. And then notice how there's the other yous around you. How could that be? The mind says, keep breathing. Don't feel so unique when you look all like the rest. <sighs> Allow yourself to come back. Breathe. Keep with your breath. Allow yourself to just, you know, uh, move your fingers and your toes. Maybe perhaps drink some water, but wait for the water if you need to. Slowly open your eyes if you need to. Just come back. We want you to notice yourself. And, you know, you need to drink water. Do that now. And just wait for a bit. We're almost done here. Notice your expansion. There's more pain that's present. It's going to quickly come up and live. You trust. That's what we do. High frequencies clear out everything that does no longer belong with you. That's what you're doing. Some of you could say, I'm using this entire lifetime just to clear out all the crap from all the others. While you're doing that, you're helping clearing out the entire human DNA. And that is why we have all these things that your humans called climate change and virus. Or that's, part, that's why it was never said, because it's all part of it. Consciousness change, even if it's multidimensional, even if it's planted. There's no conspiracies. It's happening. Your governments have been going against you for a very long time. But see, when you step out and you do the very thing that no one has done before, like being in the space, to go where, boldly go, <laughs> where no one has gone before. That's where you've been in the space. Take a good deep breath with that. We hold it and we ground it now. This is what we're doing while they still play out their power games. It's not your territory. It has nothing to do with you. There's power and control has no stance for where we're going in this thing called the future. It's all breaking down. Okay? Now another message here. Keep breathing because we're almost done. And thank you so much for being here. We love you as much as you love. 
check it out, sense into that. And notice that you don't need to know names. Notice that too. Especially notice that. If you have any problems with finances or anything at this moment, we tell you right now, do not worry about a thing. Your captains of industry are losing control. So just breathe and wait. Lay low. Use this time that you have. Time is money. Use this time that you have for that what perceives to be control of your life and you're out of control. Use it. Springboard yourself into a higher frequency like we're doing here. Keep breathing. Notice your body. You can touch your body, actually, with your hands if you want. Maybe just touch your legs or your arms. You know, give yourself a big hug. Perhaps uh, give your hug, and we'll hug each other virtually here, which is not because it's very real. And notice that, too. Oh, oh I love you. That's the hug. Let's take a good deep breath in as we hold each other. And they embrace, I love you. We stay. This is the true being present when you love someone. You just breathe in and say in your mind, I love you. And they feel it because thoughts create your reality. It's brilliant. It's, we could call it a hugging meditation. It's true. We could use anything to springboard ourselves into a higher frequency in these times. Perhaps it's relationship issues. You're going to find everything, the people, places, everything around you, keep breathing, is going to shift to your new frequency. That's all it is. So say you're losing something, you are scared. Just remember what's being said here. Perhaps it's the biggest thing of all, your life. Remember. Re, redo member yourselves, all the members of your organization you've been collecting for eons of time. <laughs> Welcome home, friends. And thank you for, again for being in this space. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, you can bring your questions to my website. Thank you. 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 <laughs> thank you.